I, clerking along in a whisper, can still commune with the people in the upper pew. Can I? <laughs> As America has been made more ugly over the years with this architecture, so have our possibilities of restoring ourselves as a nation become less because bad architecture always puts people in bad moods. And no matter what our problems are in the day, if the air is bad and the architecture is bad and the traffic is bad and everything upon us is bad, there's that much less general human charity available than the common stock of charity. And so human relations deteriorate a little more than they have to. So all these matters, these aesthetic matters, these processes of work which make work boring result in a general deadening of human potential everywhere, which increases the urge toward nihilism and the desire for crime. The real source of the increase of the rates and statistics of crime is to be found in the fact that when life becomes too monotonous, too unendurable, too boring, too processed, too controlled from outside by forces larger than anyone can comprehend or contend with, then crime becomes an interesting activity. Then the loyalty of enterprising young men becomes engaged with crime. And so long as that is true, no police force in the world will be able to counter these forces because the police themselves